morning, everyone. My name is Pumzile. My sign name is Mshanga. I've been coming to CFC Push for the past, since last year. So I'm staying in Ellis Fontaine. Um, okay, Pumzile, um, Pumzile, tell us, what has brought you to CFC Push? Uh, I came with my sister because I needed deliverance. Okay, saying so you need you needed deliverance. Yeah. Okay, now tell us um, what happened on Sunday. Um, we saw that you went through your deliverances. Can you can you remember anything and tell us uh, what happened? Uh, Pastor wanted to pray for people who had uh, some spiritual things inside, so I went there in front because I needed deliverance as well because I knew inside me there's something wrong with me, so. When I was sitting there on front, I was scared of the pastor. I didn't know why I was so scared of him, but I was scared of him. I was so scared of him, but I was scared of him. So when he came to me, he prayed for me, but somehow, somehow I don't know what happened. I just manifest, manifested out of no way. I didn't know what was wrong with me. But on Sunday, I received my deliverance because I had a spiritual husband. I had a problem with my blood. I've been menstruating for the whole month without stopping. So pastor prayed for me for that as well. And then I received my deliverance. Okay, praise God for that. Um, let us just go back a bit. You said you knew that when pastor called people that has things that are moving inside them, you knew that you had things that were moving inside you. And you also mentioned that you had spiritual, uh, spiritual husband and you were like bleeding um, nonstop. Can you then take a step by step um, from the things that was moving inside you, uh, how was it affecting you? How did you know that you know something was not right? And the spiritual husband, what is it that it was doing to, to you? And how was it affecting your life as well as the, the non-stop bleeding? Okay, at first it started when I was sleeping. I would become scared, more especially during at around 12 midnight. I would become scared and then after some time, I will dream of sleeping with someone, maybe someone that I know. And then sometimes I, I didn't know because I had sharp pains in me. I had sharp pains at the back in my womb. Most of the time I had sharp pains. So when pastor said something like this, when you have some, uh, when you have a problem, just come in front. I knew I had that problem as well because I would dream. Most of the time I would be dreaming with sleeping with other people that I know. So that's why I came forward. Evil stranger in my body, catch fire! Come out, out! The Martin and Mount Jesus, out, out! Martin and Mount Jesus, out, out! Fire, go! 
Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Out! Mighty name of Jesus. Out! Come out! Out! Fire! Loose it! Mighty name of Jesus. Get out! Out! Go! Mighty name of Jesus. Free! Mighty name of Jesus. You are free! Mighty name of Jesus. And then now the man of God prayed for you and we saw that you received your deliverance. How did you feel after, afterwards? After that, I had this headache maybe for two minutes. I went, I rushed to the toilet. And then after that, I was fine. Um, I'm sleeping fine. I don't have, even the, the blood stopped. Praise God. Yeah, it stopped. Because I... Oh, it stopped really. <laughs> I thank God for that. So they, this um, stopped the bleeding stop on Sunday immediately yeah, after you I got prayed for. Yeah, Monday I didn't see any blood. Praise God! Yeah. And this is the bleeding that's been happening for for almost a month. For almost two months, I can say. For two months. Yeah. And how how long how long has this thing been happening for you to bleed? Uh, for usually that I'll, period, I'll bleed and then I'll go to the doctor. The doctor will give me pills, and then after some time it will come back again. And then, but after the man of God prayed for me, now I'm fine, really fine. Praise God for your yeah. deliverance and healing. Um, Pumzile, um, just tell us, what, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for somebody, another teenager or young adult uh, who, who, who has suffering uh, from the same things that you were? Do you have any word of advice for them? Yeah, what, what I can say is like, People, I think most people are suffering from this, and then they take it in a, like in a, light in a light manner when they think, okay, it's something that is happening these days for most people. Because you will go to a doctor and then find out, like, will tell you it's your hormones and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's something that is painful, and it's wrong because it's happening every day. Mm -hmm. So what I would say to young people out there who has the same problem as mine. Of to come, bleeding. Of bleeding and spiritual husband. is to come to church, to, to find a church like this, where they pray for deliverance and stuff. Yeah, to come to church and get that deliverance. Thank you very much. Any closing words that you want to say to... I want to thank Pastor Shiko for delivering me. I want to thank him because at first I didn't know there are some there are churches like this. Because I, I grew up in a church, but it wasn't something like this. They didn't do deliverance. They, di they didn't do anything like this that is happening in this church. So I want to thank men of God for what he has done in my life. I thank him. I thank him. I thank him for everything. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. We thank you, Ospom Sile, for, for the time that you have given through to us. And we know that your deliverance um, shall remain permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.